Hey guys, it's Squilliam. I thought I would bring you guys something interesting. I'm going to do some replay analysis from my run at Battle for Bruce Lee 2. This was the 77th tournament in the series. So, the first round was uh, in winner's round 2, Squilliam versus Sabo. So then, so I'd be interested to see what's going on. Definitely going to help improve. Want to do more of these. Let's, okay, let's go. Okay, so I picked 2-2. Two, two. In retrospect, I probably should have picked 2-1. Or 1-2. Uh, Wait. Okay, so in retrospect, I probably should have gone with uh, V-Skill 1. Because it's a really good to pair the drop kick with. Because otherwise you're just going to let her get plus frames for free. And that's a very dangerous thing against a grappler. So we're going to put key display on... And then attack that on back. And if it's just something interesting, I'll pause and talk about it. Okay, so let's play neutral, get anti -aired. That's the thing. See, I don't have the V skill one to parry that. And then how plus is he after that? I'm gonna go check the attack data on that right now. Actually, my phone littered up with fat or the frame assistant tool. It's a really good resource for this stuff. Okay, so that that is plus two. That oh man. Okay. So yeah, I you gotta I gotta be able to parry that. In the corner. Get thrown again. That is I was willing to take the throw a little too much in this set. I think that's something I noticed. <laughs> okay, so that's then I get hit by that. Okay. I think I get stunned here. I do. So that finishes round one with a loss. So not the best round there. This guy's a very impressive player. So in round two. I start off a little cheesy with the, uh, <laughs> the EX knee press. But then we get the stand heavy punch conversion. So at this point, I'm actually plus two, so I'm going to go for the... Oh, I can, okay, I can do that. I'm going to go for the crouching short, and then the stand light kick. I actually missed the conversion, but it, he stops blocking, so it actually helps. But it's, like, it's not something to rely on, of course. And just in the corner. He's going to jump out. I, I managed to trade anti-air, which... It's not great, but considering the circumstances, I do get to keep him in the corner. And then it's about an equal health trade. So, yeah. Then we're going to go the knee press in. We're minus two. Not the best situation to put yourself in. Okay, so I actually got the perfect punish there. So that shooting peach was minus seven. I punished with my optimal thing there. And then we get a stun. Do I go for... So I actually go for the optimal 2-bar conversion. It's not like everyone goes for 2-bar combos because sometimes you're just trying to save for super. I think it worked out in that scenario because there wasn't too much scaling on it. And how do I end this round? Go for tick throw doesn't work. Go for knee press in. That actually just missed there. But I get cross up, Then stand medium kick. That is a great poke. Very good round ender. So I actually managed to win that round. In the final round, just kind of losing a bit of ground here. Gets the pressure in. Got to be very careful with that against the grapplers. It might got to work off that. Gets the ex conversion. Now I'm in the corner. This is bad. Counter hit, drop kick. Actually. I went for that because I thought I had V trigger, but I didn't. I don't know what happened there. Cause you can literally see in the input I go for it. Cause that's like a really bread and butter combo. I can't believe I dropped that. And then get hit by the uh, drop kick. Gets a conversion. 
and then when the corner is just not looking good. Okay, so it's actually it's not the starter that you get to like get the command grab. It's actually so you can get up close and then be in command grab range. So we do that, get the bomb planted. We do back throw. I probably should have pressured him. I think doing the V shift OS so that it would be uh walk in throw and then if they V shift you do uh counter hit um what like crouch medium punch into heavy scissor so probably should have gone for that kept up the pressure I don't know why I let him get away then I ugh, this makes me mad I think if I properly timed a medium knee press I could have converted that into super that ah uh, this this broke me I <laughs> I go get my counter hit, my down forward fierce, which is plus one, so by no means am I in a bad situation. And then he just reversal supers, and it, it works, so you gotta respect it. <sighs> yeah, so that is how game one ends with a loss. Very tragic stuff. <laughs> okay. So then, that's gonna bring us into game two of this set. Game two did not go as well. Okay, so we're going in. Playing neutral, we'll hit him with the knee press. I missed the anti air, so I probably should have gone for a back jump light punch. Uh, so that's actually going to get me command grab, and that is not a good start. Crush counter for mashing on that. The V shift, I probably should have committed to the break. I, hmm. Would have given me the knockdown, it would have given me. God, okay, that's going to. So definitely commit to, commit to break next time, okay. I mashed here, and if I had blocked it, I would have been able to get the punish, but... That's unfortunate. Does it again. I don't block it. That's very tragic. And then I get the throw. And then he's gonna kill... He gets close to killing me off of this. So he's plus 9 after that throw, and then he's gonna... Okay, take a turn back. Get very like scrambly here. <sighs> and then wake up light gets me. Oh, that's a three frame. Okay. You convert off of that. More pressure with the knees in. So this okay, this game did not start badly. Then I go for the counter hit combo, but I just needed to go for start with the same medium punch and then crash medium punch to medium inferno. And I, I miss the whole thing because of that. So we block that, we're in a good scenario. And then that buffer gets me, and I judging by the way this round ends, I think that's gonna be the end of me. And you can see X command grab, because he has because of here the Jeshko, and then he goes for normal throw. The heavy and then gets the anti air throw. It's normal throw. Okay. It's anti air and then gets the drop kick, which is going to confirm into my death. So, lost in losers round two. So, the next match for this is losers round two is Squilliam versus AC, which is. 
Wait, I can I wanna spoil it. So this match. So Cammy, that's actually not a bad matchup for me personally. I think me, I kind of do struggle with Mika. A lot of the grapplers, because Bison has a few defensive options, but Cammy's not particularly bad. I feel like it's definitely a matchup you get enough experience on. Cammy's a decently common character. Round one. Fight. So start off with a little forward. Just poking here. It's a conversion, nice. Actually get him, because he's not guarding low. Actually, yeah, so... Cammy has nothing to parry. I, especially if you go for the dive kicks, you're actually going to get punished on that. So, yeah, I just pick V-Skill 2. The main thing, is ever since the update, at least V-Skill 2 can give you the uh, conversion out of the target combo. So that's like the one universal thing if you're not going to use this skill, because it, it can get you in a lot of trouble, but I generally would prefer it here. Sometimes you can get some pressure. Just got to be careful with stuff like V-Shift specifically. Uh. <sighs> the pressure, minus two. Just poke in. Get the anti-air, nice. Get that very high up, because it was a drop kick. And that was actually the best conversion possible there, because you get the counter hit. And then... See what I do for pressure. Yeah. Pretty common string there. You actually, I think around plus 14 after uh, point blank charge, so you can get like stand heavy punch confirmed. Just looking for it. I was going to try to take his turn back, but not minus enough. Okay. Trying to poke him out here. Then we get the crouch jab to finish the round. You knee press, and we're going to go to the pressure. Keeps pressure going. Actually, I accidentally punish that V reversal. Okay, so. And then I'm actually too far away to punish. I think I might have been able to do uh, the V skill 2 if I was ready for it. Then, okay, so I actually need to punish that with the target combo because I'm not going to be able to get the low. Okay. Then pressure. Okay, he actually beats it again. I was very impressed because... So, EX Inferno is actually minus 1, but people think it's like the normal Inferno is where it's minus like 8, minus 10 or so. So, they're normally try to hit a button that would punish that, and then I sneak in the 3 frame. I actually take a lot of turns off of that. And I'm actually getting pressure on the corner. And then, Psycho Crusher. And that was the thing. He tried to punish with the Cannon Spike. <sighs> You can never really know how minus the uh, Psycho Crusher is going to be and the spacing is going to leave you ass, so you got to be careful when you're punishing. Okay, so that was game one. Game two. more pressure then it adds up to that there we go we get the counter hit combo keep the knee press to stay up close and I go for I go for another head press oh I mi missed that that's unfortunate
Then it actually punishes that. That was very impressive. I'm not gonna do slide activate. I am, okay. <sighs> Just try to use pressure to get the cross up in front of the setup. You gotta be very careful of that. There it is! There's the X Inferno frame, pseudo frame trap. Okay, so I got it to work there. Start the needle jump. You press in. Okay, I'm keeping up the pressure with the EX knee press. Just got a deep, good, good gray life on him here. Just trying to see if I can take it. And then he's going to give me a free punish opportunity. And I actually, I drop it. Uh. So I actually walk in and then I drop that. Okay. I, kind of an odd scramble scenario. So I, but I managed to pick that up. Just got him for the classic. Oh yeah, he gets me with the anti-air because it's the V trigger activate. Ooh. And then he, I get very low here. So that did 389 to me. And we get back throw. Do I do slide? I do. <laughs> so yeah, slide and activate is very, very scary, particularly because when you activate, you can wait long enough and do kind of a tick throw setup. Okay, so we won that round. So then we're going into losers round three, which is Squilliam versus Joey. So I believe I actually switched to V skill one here. I don't know if I'm able to use it. Yeah, okay, so I did switch. Would have actually been a great time to parry it. Then I see, I'll let him get the pressure, and then I'm in a very bad scenario because of it. Did I speed it? I, I did. Okay. So yeah, that's a pretty common strategy. I go for. What did I go for? So yeah, you get a knee, kind of a space knee press, and then as they hit a button, you go for a stand, stand heavy punch, and then you're able to convert off of it. I went for Psycho Blast, because I, I didn't know it would hit. I probably If I knew it would hit, I probably would have gone for... Okay, optimally you want to go for um the Heavy Inferno and then juggle it, but in that scenario, I probably should have gone for knee press, because that's going to allow me to go for the low confirm right after, but we get the knockdown instead. He challenges me on the knockdown and takes his turn back, sending me to the corner, which is, again, not a great spot. Then we actually grab the forward heavy punch. So we get down throw. Then, oh, he shifted my normal. And then I actually managed to throw me out of it. I gave, gave him the free jump, and then I let him walk in for the throw. And then he gets the low confirm. Very nice. And then... Oh, I dropped that! I I dropped a lot of combos in these replays. But anyway, yeah, we get the down forward fierce target combo. And then... So we're actually going to be able to kill off of this. So very nice. And then round two and three are different. <laughs> Does a drop kick again? I should have started being aware of that. Then do we go for? Okay, it's a jump medium punch. Then we get we managed to convert with the ex knee press. Okay. I'm trying to bait him into doing an anti air when I do the knee when I do the uh, head presses, but it doesn't seem to be working. Gets me the V shift OS, I believe. That was very nice.
At this point, I get too greedy, thinking I might be able to steal this game. Then we're in the corner. Be shit. Be reverse. That wasn't a bad idea. Then he does the EX command grab to end it. Ah, oh, very close to winning that game, unfortunately. Lost the round here. I don't think the next round goes quite as close though. So does he do the drop kick again? Okay, no, he doesn't. Gotta figure out how to counter that uh, mic throw. So I was willing to take the throw a lot of these games. It's just seeing how much the other players go for it. Sabo in the first game actually got me with a lot. And then he gets the kind of a loop on me here. Should have tried to get some try to get the confirm off of the um stand medium punch. I don't what do I get hit there? Did I press? And then we're plus off that. Then I actually get hit by that. I don't know if I was going for V skill too, because I think I would have got counter hit, but it's gonna give him a round into super, and I actually lose the game off of that, which is unfortunate. Okay, so this next game is the final game, unfortunately. So let's see how that one goes. <sighs> Oh, I do remember getting perfect during this set. That was not. See, yeah, obviously we're staying stuck with the V system we went out for. Something really funny happens at the end of game two, though, if I believe. Round one. Fight. So we're just gonna move it around. I believe. Oh uh, yeah, okay, okay, so I went for the V skill there and it did not pan out, unfortunately. I was, I was gonna give him a combo. It gives him a lot. Then I go for the jump and the air throws me. I think I'm just one throw away here. And then he up lands the EX after the forward heavy punch. Then he's just gonna be able to get a jump and combo that's gonna kill me. So unfortunately we did get perfected that round. I think this round is closer, but Two. So go for the head press, and then I get hit again. I this guy got me with so many of those. That was unfortunate. Go for the frame trap. Does does bite on it. Back in the corner. Really looking for the activate combo here, so I can get out, get down my last legs here, and then that's uh, should have been. Uh, I was plus ten after that. I could have done. So I was heavy shooting Peach. Man, I could have. Hmm. So I could have done uh, stand heavy kick punish. Don't get anything off, but we do. There we are, kind of. Do I side swap? I do. Oh, this was funny. It just. <sighs> that's kind of an unfortunate thing where I would definitely like how it came, like how it came out from the dude. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but man, it worked. <sighs> so yeah, that was my run at the Battle for Bruce Lee 2, number 77. Thank you guys for watching. Just thought it'd be fun to make this video, kind of get it out. Definitely want to do more replay analysis. I think this is a great way to diversify my content a little bit. Because I haven't been posting gameplay for a long time, and I think it'd be fun to kind of show how it has evolved over the past couple of like months or so. So yeah, hope you guys found this video interesting.